Hi there, everyone. This is T9. This is your message of the day. And this comes to you for Saturday, August the 19th, 2023. And this is a day where communication, both to yourself, your inner self, listening, listening to the guidance of the divine ones and divine forces around you, and remembering to take a moment to accept that and understand it in your own way, And if you've never done that, then go ahead and do that because this is a day where communication or expression of one's needs, one's feelings, wherever you think you are, don't bottle it up. If you have to even just write it down, just let it out and express yourself, express whatever it is that you need and be very much present in the moment. And there's no conflict between mind and heart unless you choose to be that way. If your heart is restless, or is unhappy about something, then express that out and find a reason for that. Find a reason first for yourself that what you think the reason is and who do you discuss it with? First with a wise friend or elder or whoever you want to converse with. Then, of course, go to the divine forces. So start really from the tangible to the heavenly first. It's that way. It's the immediate environment and what is around you and what you feel is the projection, you can say, of the uh, immediate effects of your environment to you. Trust that. Trust that. If there's something that is upsetting you, some person who's upsetting you, some situation, it always begins with some reaction from your inner self that is causing that. And find that reason for yourself and then discuss it, of course, with with a wise friend, as I said, or elder, And then take it to the next step. It will be validated again by your guardian angel and the spiritual support team around you. That way you don't have to keep asking for signs. The sign is already there. Because you've chosen to, you can say, take the sword into your hand. And say, I'm not going to deal with this anymore. This is not acceptable to me. That doesn't mean you pick fights on purpose. But it just means that you stand up and be honored for who you are and where you are at this time. So that is what standing up for yourself and expressing the truth means it doesn't mean you start to argue and pick fights and defend your beliefs defense can be a also a heavenly advancement if you take it in a graceful manner so that means you're not violent and you're not hurting on purpose you're just standing up and choosing to be where you are and approving of yourself and approving of the path that you you're walking on and that approval will be again validated by elders and friends and and the wise ones and and the spiritual team the archangels and all of the heavenly realms with you so saying that you are correct that way so don't disapprove of yourself first of all stand up for yourself and just take a deep breath and let all that stress energy first of all flow out of you and just replace it with nothing but white light Don't think about any symbol or any way that this white light is coming into you. You're just being relieved. You're being restored. Revival is coming to your mind, to your emotions, to all the layers of your spirit. And you're not giving in to what you think the stress of the moment is. That's just a projection of what is an imbalance. And if you are a person who also also already connects with the oracle cards or works with a form of Reiki and knows some form of energy healing, then some part of your body is already going to be reflecting it. Or you've had a restless night. Or you've got up just feeling unwell. Trust that and give yourself chance again to heal and to understand and to find a solution. The solution will come to you. The divine ones never stop caring. You're always supported. Smile just knowing that. And so today it is a divine mother who's also a divine saint and also works with Archangel Michael. See, she's such a powerful force of the light and she comes forward for you to show that a mother is not just nurturing but can be the defender of her children. So she helps you stand up for your beliefs and what you believe in and what you seek approval for. That approval will come again from the divine forces. There's no need to hit or shove or scream to get that honor within the world. It's vice versa. 
You take the light in, you shine the light, and the light becomes your sense and source of peace. And then everything else will get into place. So this is Joan of Arc, and Joan of Arc helped to free and protect Yes, protect, actually. Amazing, right, that a woman can do that. A king, Charles VII, from being persecuted and harmed. But it had tremendous effect on her physical life, and she was literally burned at the stake. That is when she arose and became an ascended master. You just needed to know that because you might think that as a woman over here, does she have any power? She works with Archangel Michael. So she's, you can say, the feminine face of Archangel Michael. But also is working in the realm of the Ascended Masters. It's a dual. That means she has twice, you can say in a way, the understanding, both feminine and masculine together. That's why her two, two shields over here are carrying symbols saying yin and yang. Masculine and feminine both coming together. And both of these are bound by the physical sword that she's wearing. Yes, it's physical. You can actually feel it with your hand. It's that tangible, that strong. And you never felt energy before. You will feel it now. Touch that sword and ask it literally to bring any decision, any source of irritability, anything that you're trying to deal with and understand and balance, to cut away the unnecessary from that. Drama, energy, patterns, you don't have to deal with the baggage anymore. So left and right, the past, the future, the present, all come together beautifully. You just stand there as the voice of truth and use that talisman, that orb of power that is in her throat chakra and is giving you the power to express. That's why expression and communication, standing up for what you believe in is so important this day. To not hold back, especially in your prayers and invocations and conversations with the loved ones, be as honest as you can. She will help you defend your beliefs with grace With compassion, with love, it doesn't mean that if you are impassioned or passionate about something, that you go around hurting feelings for it. You're just strong. Strength and power come through the divine this day. Embrace that source of power. Because many people are afraid to express themselves as powerful beings of the light, thinking that that is being angry, or taking on the violent path. And so they don't speak up at all. That it's better just to be quiet. That's the way you really create peace, by not saying anything. No, you're just bottling up irritability and anger, and it's going to come forth, it's going to burst forth, because it cannot be contained within your body. It's not meant to be, because it doesn't belong there. It doesn't serve you. It has no purpose. So stand strong. See the words. It's very easy to absorb these words. Take it one at a time. And choose all sentences or one sentence as your declaration of power and confidence and belief in the path that you've chosen, the divine ones that are surrounding you, the prayers that you believe in, the methods And look at yourself and and see how much you've accomplished in your life, how many people you've helped just by being who you are. She did not hold back at what she had to do, right? She spontaneously stepped in, though it caused physical death. Don't be afraid of that. The Divine Ones will never let you be harmed because you have a life purpose to fulfill that will be fulfilled. But you have to allow yourself to receive and stand up for what you believe in. And not be out there just trying to please everyone. So stand strong. And see the next words. All that discussion leads to that so beautifully. Focus on your purpose. And again to feel gentle 
and the sense of grace through all of this, the white lights, sweetness, and love's power. Look at the lilies around her, the flowers to the left and right side. There are two of them, man and God, Holy Spirit and tangible together to the left and right side. So the left is, of course, helping you make friends with your past, with what you could not control or you think is just gone away. It's memory and you cannot do anything about it. It happened yesterday. Patterns that you're carrying. A child that is still crying and wanting some kind of approval from his or her parents and never got it. A young woman who was not understood in her youth and had to give up a sacrifice. Let all of that go. Look into her eyes and say, what is it that I need to release and let go of right now? There is so much you're carrying. And that sword, just touch it and say, what do I need to cut away? Just remove Archangel Michael and Joan of Arc together as a team, as a beautiful spiritual dual team of masculine and feminine together. The two eyes you have, the two ears you have, use them in all the ways that you think are the best for you. So let go of and release the baggage. No more should you think that you're less than or lack or or be in a state of restlessness, of fear, again, being angry, irritable, bottling up, keep on complaining. Complain? Complaining, is it working for you? It will not work for you because it just creates more reasons to complain. So if you see also the shield she's wearing, it seems to be so layered, right? And it's all over the place and so, so many emblems and things are binding it. It's just where in the moment the shielding and empowering of Archangel Michael and Joan of Arc will help you. You just decide in what form you need it, whether it's in your words and the way you're communicating and speaking and conversing and hearing. So even her ears are covered. Her hair is falling over her ears. You don't see her ears. It's just because you ask your ears to literally carry the white light of power within your ears. So even what you're hearing is immediately cleared and becomes what you need to hear, not what you're forced to hear. See, there's a difference between that. You'll only hear what you need to hear, and you'll understand it as such, and the holy truth remains the holy truth. Your divine blueprint in the Akashas is not changed by all this cacophony of energy around you. The irritability or the stress or the so-called confusion that has you going here and there. None of that changes really who you are. You're loved by God. You were created for a spiritual purpose. There's a unique expression of you. That is who you're embracing and bringing to the surface without any fear this day. You're standing up exactly for who you want to be and choose to be. You're honored for that. So how will you hurt anybody else in that process? You will only invite and express in the best way for you, whether you're a writer, a singer, whether you're a holy healing person, whether you're a mathematician, (laughs) whether you're a grocer, don't think you're less than. You're needed exactly where you are and how you are. And comparison is another reason also people don't stand up for themselves because they think that that other person is in a higher space or a higher status of life. And I have no business speaking because I'm not so well educated. You're educated as you need to be educated. Just educate yourself really with how to use light and use the best of your knowledge for the expression of yourself. So release this fear of persecution And speak up. Speak your truth. That is also what stops many light workers from actually embracing their intuitive gifts and giving into the healing arts. Because if you see her life 
and you think, oh, that's what's going to happen to me. I'm going to be persecuted and I'm, not, and I'm going to die soon. She is an ascended master. Archangel Michael is there. And so much more is known about light and how to invite light into your daily life and how to express yourself. We're in a modern time where everything of the ancient arts and the modern discoveries are coming together in a beautiful manner. So she's giving you the best of both worlds, of both times, and they're meshing together beautifully for you. And she's wearing this shield, which is gray. Why? Because it's literally taking all the unnecessary, which is in various parts of your body and your mind, hurting your emotions, causing dullness in your aura. And you are now supported and feeling the strength and power of your beliefs once again. And why in layers again? Because you might need it at different moments for different reasons and applied to different situations. Realization comes to you as how to use it. And when you feel you need it the most, that's why being in the present is so important this day. Don't deny yourself whatever form of feeling or a thought comes up as, oh, this is so illogical, or oh, I'm supposed to know better than that. You're not supposed to know anything, but the need to feel peaceful. So don't start to compare yourself as, I need to be there, and for this particular age, I should have this, and I should have that. These I shoulds, again, that white light pouring down into her, ask that white light to reinforce the shield and remove the I shoulds and I want and I need I am, I choose, go back to standing up for your beliefs, stand strong. You don't see Archangel Michael saying, I'm not going to be an Archangel. I just choose to serve and I'm strong and my strength is the light. The light guides me, the light is my strength. The heavenly forces give me what I need to do and I, he just does it, right? When you call upon him, he doesn't say, oh, I'll take a moment to think about it and come back. He just does it and immediately cuts away or clears away or puts the cloak around you. Joan is exactly like that, but she brings it in a strong feminine face that makes you understand even more of the presence of the light as not just being masculine and, and creator, not just being father, but being divine mother too. She brings the best of both worlds. So if you see into her eyes, you will see and feel in your own way the presence of Archangel Michael. And this might be the first time you actually choose to understand who he is or what this meaning of divine truth and strength is. And it all sounds very, very lofty, right? That's why you're starting from the tangible today and going then into your spiritual team and spiritual forces, not the other way around. So you already have tangible proof. Your body will feel it. Your mind will attest to it. Your feelings will feel calm immediately. And it will only go further to a sense of recuperation and balance and wanting to understand more and saying, this is the power of belief. This is the power of expression. I am enjoying it and I want to express more of who I am. And you'll just go around with that feeling and attract all the right situations and forms of communication and conversations that you need to this day. And you will really be an agent of change wherever you go because you chose to embrace that change. You chose to remain strong. It's always rewarded. Efforts to be positive and to invite happiness are always rewarded. So don't think that you're doing this alone or it's some lofty task that one day is not enough. At least take the first step on that golden path to happiness. Happiness is assured for you. You just choose to be who you are. At least stand up for yourself. And don't stand there hiding because you think that it is very difficult to do so and it will bring too many reasons to be harmed or hurt. That's not true. Just look at her and all the help that's coming for you. You just choose to believe and ask. You will certainly receive and you will rise for sure. So go ahead and embrace 
Joan of Arc and her sword and your strength. Enjoy all of this coming to you from the Keepers of the Light by Kyle Gray. And Kyle can be reached at kylegray.co.uk. And the superb artwork that helps us understand the divine power so easily and in a non-lofty manner. It's embraceable, right? You, you can receive it so effortlessly, so simply. This comes to us from Lily Moses, and Lily can be reached at L-I-L-Y-M-O-S-E-S dot com. And this is Tina signing off for now. So enjoy yourself, dear one. You deserve it. Bye-bye.